first at four this afternoon, a riverfront development is on the way now in Decatur. Yeah, this morning the Decatur City Council giving the green light to move forward with plans to transform Ingalls Harbor. News 19's Emily Mosner first told us about this project weeks ago when plans were still being discussed. She joins us now live from the harbor with the latest. Emily. Good evening. Well, there are still a few approvals that meet, need to be made. Pretty soon, Ingalls Harbor will be transformed from just being a boat ramp to being a shopping and entertainment district. Now, earlier today, the City Council for Decatur approved a lease agreement with a developer at its meeting by a vote of four to one. Now, Patrick Lawler will finance the project. However, the city the city of Decatur and Decatur Utilities owns the land it will be built on. Now, members of the Decatur City Council say utilizing the waterfront along the Tennessee River has long been something that residents have requested. The development will be similar to Gunnersville City Harbor with shops, restaurants, and recreation space. Now, Lawler says several businesses have already signed on the dotted line to be a part of the development. We're about 70% leased already, and uh, uh, Big Mike Steakhouse is one of them. Uh, the Wake Eatery by Big Mike's will be there. Uh, we're doing a pizza concept. Uh, Levi's on the Lake that's in Gunnersville, it'll be there also. Has a ton of live music and entertainment. Uh, several other ones I just can't announce yet. Now, Lawler said he expects the Ingalls Harbor development to be even larger than City Harbor in Gunnersville. However, he says it is still he is still working with architects, so it'll be a few weeks before we start to see renderings of what it all might look like. Now, even with the green light from the city today, we are still a little ways away from actually seeing it be built. There are still a few approvals that need to be made, like the TVA and the Corps of Engineers. Now, Lawler said the approvals from the TVA usually take about 12 months, so it could be about a year before we really start to see things moving on this project. Live in Decatur, Emily Moser, News 19.